So we'll discuss the question of whether there's a mitzvah of simcha on Rosh Hashanah. Because the Torah tells us many times, the Torah tells us in different psukim, there's a mitzvah of simcha on Yantiv. And Yantiv usually refers to the Shalosh Regolim. So there's no dispute regarding Pesach, Sukkot, Shavuos. We clearly have a mitzvah of simcha. We have a mitzvah of Ola Regal. So we certainly have um, we certainly have mitzvahs like that. So the question is, among the Rishonim, Achronim, what is the status of Simcha and Rosh Hashanah? Because on one hand, Rosh Hashanah, it's unclear. It's definitely a yantif. It's not one of the Shalosh Regalim. On the other hand, it's a, it's a May Tshuva as well. So where exactly does the mitzvah of Simcha fit in on Rosh Hashanah. So, so we pointed out that the different um, ways of looking, looking at the criteria to see if there's a mitzvah of simcha or not. So one is, there's a general rule regarding Hilchas Birchas Hamazon. We have a general principle. We know that there's a mitzvah Baruch Hashem Yom Yom. There's a mitzvah to mention Me'en HaMa'ura. On Shabbos to mention Ritzei, both in davening and benching. On Yantav to mention Yalo Yavo, etc. So the question is, what happens if I forget to mention Ritzei on Shabbos or Yalo Yavo on Yantav? If I forget Yalo Yavo on Cholamayd? If I forget Yalo Yavo on Rosh Chodesh? Of course, Lechadchila, I should be saying it, but let's say I don't say it. Do I have to go back or not? So, what is the rule? The general rule is any meal that I have a chiyav to this pass, so I have to go back. If I have a chiyav to have bread at this meal, so I forget ritzei or yalav I have to go back. And that's why for Shabbat, if, it, if you forget ritzei during the first two meals, you have to go back. Uh, why not shalosh shudas? We have a chiyav to eat three meals on Shabbat. Since shalosh shudas, there are those who show them who say that one does not have to eat bread at Shalosh Shittis, so therefore, Suffolk Brachos Gahako regarding Birchas Amazon, Birchas Amazon is the right, sir, but at the Suffolk, whether I have to actually go back or not, because maybe the Birchas Amazon counted, so therefore, we'll lean in for the third meal, that if one should still have, if they can, should have pass at the third meal, but even if you did have pass, but you forgot, we'd say, one would not go back. But on Yantav as well, you forget Yalav or Yavu, you have to go back. On the other hand, Rosh Chodesh, there, it's praiseworthy to eat bread, but there's no Chiyav. So therefore, you do not have to go back. If you forget Yalav or Yavu and Benji and Rosh Chodesh, you do not go back. As well as Pashas Cholamite as well. There is no Chiyav Suda, you might have a Chiyav Simcha. So minimally speaking, you should have wine at your meal, every meal you have on Yantav including Cholomai. But, you know, regarding bread, there isn't necessarily a Chiyav, and therefore, one would not go back. So the Shail is, what about Rosh Hashanah? You have wine every meal on Cholomai? Yeah, because there's a Chiyav, because the whole Yantav, there's a Chiyav suit. So let's say circuit, I'm not saying, right. you know, you can have grape juice then. I'm not saying if it's a, if it's a medical issue, you can't have wine. And I'm, but I'm saying all no, things, no, no. I think yeah, all things being, yeah, because it's clearly a mitzvah of Simcha, and today, minimally, Ain simcha el abayayin. Right. Uh, what, uh, you know, it's a question whether it's bus of abayayin today, but I'm saying gukule al mayayin. What, you know, meat's probably preferable as well, but I'm saying in terms of a chiyav, that since we assume you definitely have to have wine, so therefore one should have, you know, wine, grape, whatever, you know, a halachic wine, part of the mitzvah of simcha. Right. So, what about Rosh Hashanah then? The question is, do I have to go back if I forget Yalav So that, so the question is, do I have a chi of Suda? So that touches on the question in the Rishonim and the Gaonim, am I permitted to fast on Rosh Hashanah? It is clearly forbidden to fast on Shabbos and Yantav. Perhaps we'll see a tiny Chalom for Shabbos might be different because that's, cause, cause it's a lack of Oneg Shabbos, and therefore Oneg is more subjective. And if I'm not going to enjoy my eating now, let the person, um, you know, the example I get, let's say a person's going out with someone for a long time and then they end it, one person dumps the other and the other person's very upset, they're not eating. 
they're not eating not because they're protesting, they're not eating because they have no appetite, they're so upset about what happened, you know, what someone was, you know, whatever, the, whatever, whatever bothers a person a lot, and therefore, if I'm not eating because I'm not enjoying my food, so perhaps on Shabbos it's mutter, and therefore you can have a tightness chalom. He's so shooken up over the chalom, I can't eat. But on Yantiv, one has a chi of suda, it's asata, asata fast. We, we assume it's also asata fast, all things being equal on Shabbos as well. So, is a discussion on Rosh Hashanah, can you fast or not? So, the Mordechai quoted from Rabbi Nach shown in others, Asr lehisanos, it's prohibited to fast on Rosh Hashanah. The Rush quoted from others that they make it they make a distinction between Yon, Rush, the first day of Rosh Hashanah, which is Daraisa, no. The second day of Rosh Hashanah, which is Darabanan, yes. Then you have the true Masadashan who quotes the mitzvah is on us b'chol Rosh Hashanah. So we have three sheets in the Rishonim. Whether it's asa to fast both days, whether it's a mitzvah to fast both days, and you have a middle sheet, uh, day one, no fasting, because it's the Raisa, day two. So even though in Shulchan Aruch we pass, because ain't mis'anin the Rosh Hashanah, we go, our meaning is, we go with not fasting on Rosh Hashanah, but there were, there were Ka'onim who do it, because we so we assume the mitzvah samachta bechagecha take stops me from fasting. So therefore, la'alacha we assume that we have to eat on Rosh Hashanah. However, since there are those rishonim who hold you could fast, that's a discussion in the poskim whether one would go back on Rosh. That's the tension by Rosh Hashanah. We see on one hand there's a mitzvah the rice of simcha that causes us that we have to eat. On the other hand, we have a mitzvah of Yom Hadin, so therefore we have to modify it, and usually tshuva during those days was connected to a tainis. So therefore, that's the wrestling match among these, um, these Rishonim, on whether it's a mitzvah Lashanos versus also Lashanos, whether which is, the pre, which is the primary and what is the secondary. It's the primary with Simcha and secondary Yom Hadin, or Yom Adin primary and Simcha takes the back burners. That seems to be the wrestling match regarding where Simcha fits in on Russia. And that could be according to those who say there's a mitzvah with Anos, that might imply there is no mitzvah Simcha, or, or if it is, it's a very low level of Simcha. On the other hand, we have another issue of the Nusach HaTzfila and Kiddush, whether we mention the Hasienu on Rosh Hashanah, do we mention Moadim is Simcha? So, different Minhagim, Svardim, Ashkenaz, the Shokhlarach brings down, we don't say Moadim is Simcha, Chagim is Manim is Sason. And we don't say Vahasienu. And, you know, and, and he says, so then he discusses different Minhagim, Ashkenaz, Svard, and then the issue whether he says, Sidkas, Ritzelech, Mincha, not. So again, the same issue on whether you could have open simcha on Rosh Hashanah. Now, clearly there's a mitzvah of simcha, but, it, but since it's Yom Adin, do we want to emphasize it by saying, Vahasiyeno more than simcha not? So those are the different minhagim there. So one issue is whether you're out of fast, and hence do I have to go back for benching. The other issue is Nusach HaTzfila. The third issue is Hallel on Rosh Hashanah. Do I say Hallel on Rosh Hashanah? So, so they point out that the Gemara tells us in Erechin that there are three criteria to say Hallel. Because the Gemara says 18 days a year we say Hallel, and three days we have for Yantav Sheni Shagolias, Pesach, Sukkot, and Shavuos. So the Gemara wants to know how come during Sukkot we say it all eight days, Pesach only the first day, Gomer is a Hallel. The Gemara says because Sukkot each day has its own Karban, but Pesach, it's the same Karban every day and therefore it doesn't warrant a full Hallel. So the Gemara says, what are the criteria? So what's the, the criteria? It has to have its own Karban. So uh -huh. Sukkot has its own carbon. Right. So we got. So we know it has to be a moed. Moed. That's a, that's the starting point. 
or it doesn't didn't spell it out yet. But all we know is, all we know at this point is that if if it's a day that you bring your own carbon every day, it warrants a halal. And if it's not a day, you don't. So the Gemara says, if that's the case, then what about Shabbos? Shabbos has its own carbon, and yet we don't say a full halal. We don't say any halal. Because Shabbos isn't called a moed, according to this Gemara. I, the Gemara says, what about Rosh Chodesh, Ikwe Moed? The Gemara says, it's not Iktish Basiyas Malacha. It's not, there's no Isra Malacha on, on Rosh Chodesh. And, you know, the Avni and is Kasha, what about Shabbos, Rosh Chodesh? So, we don't, we know because you need the same Machaya, I mean, the same generating force that tell, because to tell me to say halal it has to be from the same source and therefore we don't say halal so we have the big three we need to to warrant a full halal it, need, it needs to be called the moed it has to be iktish ba'asiyas malacha and it has to be chaluk b'karbanos it has to have its own karban so that's the case then what about Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur that's the big three They're, it's called the moed it's Iktish Basiyas Malacha and it has its own carbon. So why don't we say Hallel? The Lord says, You're right, you should say Hallel, technically speaking, but we don't say Hallel because it's inappropriate to say Hallel. We're being judged on Yom Hadin that me Yechia, me Yamas, and we're going to sit there ob- oblivious to it all and this to sing not and this to say Hallel. So therefore, we tone it down by not saying Hallel. Right. And, that's, and, that's, and that's what the Rambam writes back to the Gemara. We don't say halal because it's not Yemei Simcha Yisera. It's not an open Simcha. It is a day, it's clearly a day of Simcha because it's Rosh Hashanah. It's a Moed. It's a Yantif. However, we tone it down. And then the Gemara went through. So if this is the criteria, so what about Hanukkah? Hanukkah doesn't have any... Hanukkah is not a Moed because it's only a rabbinical holiday. It's not Iksish by Siyas Malacha. Okay, it might have Karbanas, but so what? You need the big three. So yeah, we say a full Halal on those days. So clearly it's nothing to do with the big three. So the Gemara says, no, but it has to do with, um, it's a, another criteria, Yom Shi'ir Abonai, the day that a miracle happens. I was the day that a miracle happens, so what about Purim? So the Gemara says three reasons why we don't say Halal on Purim, either because it happened in Chutz Laaretz, not in Eretz Yisrael. Only a Yantav, only a Nase that happened in Eretz Yisrael warrants Halal. Ah, Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. That was the grandfather clause. It's only once Yoshua entered Eretz Yisrael, then we say it. Then you have, number two, you have Kriyasa Zu Halela. The Megillah is the Halal. And therefore, we do say Halal. And number three is Akati Adeya Chashvei Rosh so then we had the slaves. right. We still you have to be in this. You have to be Abde Hashem and not Abde Paro. I to the Gemara says, but what about Gemara says? What about so um, to Meiri yes. So what about if you live in a town where there is no Megillah to them? What's the Megillah says? So the Meiri right here. You 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 say how well. We assume no. Why the Meiri is very compelling? We explain because that's a different type of Hallel. You always say a Hallel HaMitzri, a Hallel that talks about Nisim the Flows. That's the that's the Hallel. The Hallel of Megillah Esther. That's a that's a how that's a Hallel of 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 Nister, and Therefore, it's inappropriate. So therefore, so as the Rambam writes, even though Rosh Hashanah is aimed by Hamal, if Shehem you made Tshuva. The Yira, the Pacha, Lo Yemei Simcha Yisera. So clearly, it's a mitzvah Simcha, but it, um, it, it's not no, it's not enough to say how. And that's and that's what they point out the Machok is the Gra and the Baal Shem Tov, and whether it's appropriate to be crying in davening. Obviously, we're not talking about a crying of Simcha. The Ma'aseh Rav says, don't cry because it's, you know Pashas because it's a time of Simcha, and the Ari says, no way, of course you have to cry. And then, they, you know, they got into what is the, what is the, you know, the gather of Simcha, could you have Simcha, uh, could you have Simcha without, um, 
bust of a yayin, because there's clearly no mitzvah or regel. That's what the Rav had the whole Yisod right, of... Simchas Aleif. Yeah, Simchas Aleif, the Icarus, and that's why I think the Rav made famous the Gemara of Moe Katan. Kohen Gadol, Kol Hashana, Ki Yisrael, Ki Regel Dami. A Kohen Gadol, all year round, has the status of a Jew during Yenta, because a Kohen Gadol is no Avei Zaranino. A Kohen could go um, with Tami for the seven crew of him, but the Kohen Gado is always a regal b'fnei atzmo, and therefore he doesn't have avelos. He has, and what's the ultimate simcha is being b'fnei Hashem or kechem. As the Rambam writes, that it, what's, what does sin do? It causes us a separation between us and God. So by taking away the truth, by taking away the sin, it clears things up. So that's the pshat. Um, so that's the issue of Simcha and Rosh Hashanah, and that's what we have to work on, the balance between, on one hand, recognizing Rosh Hashanah is a Yom Simcha, is a day of joy, on the other hand, we can't go overboard, and hence we see that with no howl on Rosh Hashanah, we, according to the Shulchan Arach, even though we're going to, oh, oh, we eat, we eat to our hearts to life, but some, the, the, some folks can say you shouldn't only eat your favorite foods, you should cut down a bit of and this whole issue of Asiyenu, Moadim, with Simcha, and of course the question of whether the ultimate guideline, whether there is Avelis on Yantif or not, because if there's Avelis on Rosh Hashanah, do we know Simcha and Avelis can coincide because the Mitzvah the Rabbim of Simcha beats out the Avelis to Yachid, and therefore we see there's definitely a Yemei Simcha Yisera, we just have to balance it um, with the appropriateness of on one hand being a Yemei Simcha, on the other hand being a Yom Hadin.